Now what we're making today is we're making uh, chicken parmesan smash burgers. So it says we need uh, sayabata sandwich rolls, one and a half to two pounds of ground chicken. We got two pounds here and some plastic. Uh, let's see, a tablespoon of Toto Italian. Uh, I've got some organic Italian here. I'm sure that'll be fine. A uh, tablespoon we need, huh? There we go, we got a tablespoon. I'm sure that'll be fine. Uh, two tablespoons of chopped fresh flat leaf parsley. We got at least that. One tablespoon, oh, one tablespoon of chopped fresh basil. Do we have parsley? Never mind, this doesn't have parsley in it. Okay, so we're gonna start with two pounds of chicken, ground chicken. This is chicken, right? Right. Chicken. He didn't know that there was such a thing as ground chicken. No, I didn't. I thought that you got the stuff in the can and that was as close to ground as you were getting unless you were gonna grind it your own self. So we got a tablespoon of uh, Italian seasoning. We're gonna throw that in there. And now we're gonna, what is this? Basil, we're gonna dump some basil in here. Something like that. How much Parmesan? A quarter cup grated Parmesan. Farm dust, all right, we'll farm dust it because salt and pepper's overrated. What? It has salt and pepper in it, but it also has other yummy things. Probably just like that, huh? Yeah. How much salt and pepper are we supposed to, it doesn't, it doesn't say. Help. Yeah, we'll give it a little more. There we go. Yeah, something like that. And what else? So, Italian parsley, basil, Parmesan, salt and pepper mix well to ensure all ingredients are evenly incorporated and then shape mixture into three to four ounce meatballs well we got to start with meat you can't make meatballs out of chicken chicken ain't meat yeah this is practically vegetarian here <laughs> it ain't bleeding when you get it it ain't meat even fish bleed do you ever notice that fish aren't categorized as meat did you ever notice that its own separate category. Yeah, yeah, fish always gets its own separate category. But we're working with chicken today. Poultry, neighbor of the turkey. <laughs> neighbor of the turkey. Yeah. We figured out that one of us must be a turkey because our little boy is definitely a parrot. No, 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 no. You said a turkey. First you said part bird, and then you said a turkey, but I don't see how a parrot can come from a turkey. God does amazing things. Works in mysterious well, that ways. That he does, but... Alright. Well, you're supposed to make balls out of it now. Okay. Yeah, but how big's a four ounce meatball? I don't know how big a four ounce meatball is. I think we were off camera, but we determined that eight meat, we need eight meatballs out of a two pound pack to have four ounce balls. Probably not that important, but it seems like it probably matters a little bit. I think it's as long as they're kind of similar size for cooking duration. But if anybody's watching and has an answer to that, why poultry and fish are in different categories from everything else, that'd be kind of cool. Leave it in comments. So what do you have in this bowl now? All right, so here we got a quarter cup of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and um, something like two tablespoons. Spoons, uh, got some tomatoes in there. And then uh, we're going to add some more uh, seasoning, salt and pepper, whatever you want to call it here. Yeah, something like that. Just 
just gonna all right so now what we're doing is slicing some zucchini we're gonna fry zucchini with this So now we're getting we're holding temperatures up in the 400 block and we're going to go ahead and start our zucchinis. I had heard the toasting your buns on here with mayonnaise really gave them a, a fun different character. So we're going to try that tonight. All right, folks. So I've already put some mozzarella cheese on these and now we're going to, we're going to put some marinara on too. And to try to trap some of the heat in there, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it and hope for the best. I'm going to take the thinnest of the buns. And they ain't even done toasting yet. Oh, we're going to take some of the buns and throw on top there. Just like that. Have other bread over here. Yeah. Might as well just do that too. All right, folks. So we're back inside now, and uh, Cindy's already cleaned up our area here that we were working in. Now, what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do? We get those toasted up. We toasted these with a little bit of mayonnaise on them. I don't know how that's gonna be, but we're gonna find out. So we're going to put that sauce that we made on these. Slice of tomato, put it on one of those, and boom. Well, we're missing a couple of uh, couple of seasonings or spices or whatever, but uh, I can't say that I miss them that bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> 